I have one of these SV1 eyepieces, 3 to 8 millimeter zoom, and I wanted to use this with a binary viewer. So I bought another one. Probably a little bit cheaper, even. Yeah, around um, 25 pounds cheaper. Let's just open and see if it is the, as good as this one. The weight of this was really impressive. The click top mechanism, clicking a bit, was really good. I liked it. So let's see how it is this one. Very stiff. Let me use both hands. as heavy as what I already have so it's not a cheap version or a clone or anything Let's see how many reflections we can see. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. How many reflections here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Except those two at the around it, which I don't think they're related. Okay, this is six. One, two, three, four, five again. I see. Is it four or five element? Let me see how many elements return on this. Six elements. So it must be that one, which is around it, the second one, which is here top and bottom that's the sixth one so one two three four five oh that single one i think is two on the top two of them are very close together those two top ones 
that makes them four then we have one under it five six i think that's six element it makes sense quite heavy let's just see how it's the click top click lock mechanism works or click there is the oh yeah there's the red dot we are at, at the eight millimeter setup they will stiff at the five four stiffer three stiff again one two three five let's just go back from three again three four five six seven eight so let's see how it changes when we do this so we are at the eight we are at the eight millimeter so if i turn it this way this way I will have a change, okay. It's quite stiff. So sample it's oh yeah, I have to turn it this way. Yeah. So I have to turn it this way to go that. Yeah. So this way I have to turn it. So good. Oh the bottom comes up. I did with the other one. Okay, guess the stiff. I bet that is now five. Let's see. Oh, at a four. Yes. That's three. Let's go back. Do it again. Eight, seven. So practically, you see the from eight to seven. Yeah, that rises. The eye facing part rises. Okay, it's getting smoother when I turn the yeah this is getting smoother now now the lower part also when i turn comes this way so both ends move and makes it a long focal length so practically it's a little telescopic way so to achieve the zoom they actually go further away from each other this side lens and from this side lens or is it I feel that is that is the not the lens that is actually the field stop this is a field stop now One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five clicks I can go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. So one, two, three, four, five, six settings it has. So let me push this aside and bring this one that I already had let me just make it a little bigger image yeah. this is the one about first so we are on the setting for seven eight seven much smoother and click is stronger so there is a sample variation 
Although it is a smooth air, but at the same time, the click of it is reassuring. So I read that some people were saying in the Cloudy Nights forum that uh, the samples, the eyepiece they had received was stiff. And I expected this one about first be stiff also, which was not. So this one that I, and this was from the beginning like that. I have a video you can watch that. But this one, which I received now, no, it's a stiff. Yeah, let's just turn it again. It's eight. Seven. Oh, getting a little bit softer, yeah. Yeah, five to four, just a stiff, really. I can see some oily material, or is it grease? Here. Maybe they have added some grease to it. Oh, yeah. It's getting smoother. Yeah. There is something grease there. There is optical grease that this may have put something that it makes it a little bit stiff. So let's go to five. Yeah, stiff. From five. Oh no, that was on three. Okay, three, four, five. Yeah, getting softer actually. Getting better. The click sound of it is different slightly. So in the dark, I can say which one is which. The original sample I received was this. Then the second is a little bit stiff, but now it's getting softer. Yeah, it definitely got softer. I like the fact that no matter how much you turn this way, or when you retreat that way, it doesn't move. That's good, because there is anyway. There is this ring here, and this one also cannot go any further. Makes sense. So in between, also, you can hold it, stop it, but it's for binary viewing, it's better to hold it at the certain numbers because you can actually adjust both at that. Yeah, still a little bit stiff here, but as it goes, and every time I see this shiny, liquidy thing, I'll remove it, it may get better. Yeah, yeah, getting better, definitely getting better, I can see the change. Okay, let's put these things on the binary view. This is a new one, and this is the first one, all the one. So both are on eight. So this is the binary viewer. Bother Max Bright. I've tested it under the night sky, really enjoyed it. Now let's go for this. Of course, depends on the kind of eyepiece you look. I'll push this telescope a little bit back so I will have more space. So, okay, Max Bright. With the first IPC, quite heavy these IPCs are. What I like about this SV Bunny, and this is a compression ring by the way, so it doesn't mar or scratch the IPCs. This is the second one. This is the first one I bought. Have the zoom binary viewer.
So that's how it is. Let me turn off the flash. So the test will be under the night sky. And hopefully we will see how it is. Planets, moon, and such things. Probably uh, if I can use it on a few global clusters. So, so far so good, that's it. This is the second uh, SV body three to eight millimeter zoom.